Congratulations, you're approved with a credit limit of $15,000. What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the Credit Plug channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be going over a credit account that you can get with absolutely no hard credit check and no social security number is required whatsoever. And this is gonna be the Dell Business Credit. This is an actual line of credit that you can use to purchase Dell equipment. Now, they have two different types of accounts. They have a personal account and a business account. So in today's video, we're going to focus on the business account. But before we go into the business account, I wanted to go over some quick data points on what you need in order to get approved. All right. So in terms of where they're pulling from, they're going to be pulling your Experian business credit score. So what you can do before you apply, what you want to do, you want to go to either NAV or you can go directly to Experian.com, which I'll show you where you can see where your IntelliScore is. Now, Experian uses an IntelliScore from a minimum of one all the way up to one. 100. And in order to get approved, you want to be somewhere in the low or low to medium risk. Experian is where you're actually going to get your business credit and telescore in real time. So real quickly, this is the range of scores, again, from one to 100. And you want to be somewhere in the, again, low to medium risk or low risk. So low to medium risk is going to be from 51 to 75. And low risk is going to be 76 to 100. Now, as you can see, um, I'm actually going to walk you guys through, but Mines is currently at a 94. Which, now, again, this is not a starter vendor. So if you have zero business credit history, you won't get approved for this. You do need some accounts already reporting to your experience before you could apply to this. Now, I typically recommend having at least five trade lines reporting. And if you don't know where you can get five trade lines, we'll go over that at the end of the video. Now, another thing that we know about this particular Dell line of credit is that it's issued by Web Bank, which is the same bank as Capital on Tap. And as you guys know, Capital on Tap just does a soft pool of your business experience as well as your personal experience. Now, another benefit, there's no hard personal credit check, and this is only going to report to business credit. So you don't have to worry about this showing up on your personal credit report or even getting an inquiry. Now, one of the things I like about the Dell business line of credit is that they have these special promotional financing offers where you get no interest if you pay within 90 days on select items, and you also get 3% back in Dell rewards. And there's also a 5000 and bonus point reward for new accounts. Now, again, they have a business account and a personal account. So we're not talking about personal accounts. The personal accounts are actually through a completely different financial institution. Now, applying for the Dell business line of credit is very easy and you can actually get an instant decision. So you'll know immediately whether or not you're approved. There's no interest if paid within 90 days. In eligibility, you must be a US commercial customer and have a federal tax ID number, otherwise an EIN. And again, this is designed for businesses at all stages. So it doesn't matter if you know, you've know you only been around for a couple months or you've been around for a couple years. And as I stated, this is gonna be through Web Bank, right? So Web Bank is the underwriter and basic business information, legal business name, your street address, business phone number, business type. So whether you're a partnership, sole prop, C corp, Corp, S Corp. You're going to enter in your tax ID number, and then you're also going to enter in your first name, last name, phone number, email, and that's pretty much it. As you can see, they're not asking you for a social security number or anything like that. Now, one other important factor I want to let you guys know is that you want to make sure that the address that you put on the application is the same address that's listed on your business credit report on Experian, as well as with the Secretary of State. So on the next page, there's just a bunch of different disclosures. So what you want to do is scroll all the way to the bottom, check this box right here, and then hit submit. Dang, this is taking forever. I hate when it takes this long because you don't know if it's good or bad. All right, so it says your approved credit limit 15,000, interest rate 25.24%. Now, once you get approved for your Dell business line of credit, you can use your line of credit immediately. Now, let's say you don't have business credit established and you just started your LLC. One thing you can do is build vendor credit and it's very easy to add just a couple of accounts, wait till those accounts report, and then you can apply for different accounts such as Dell, Samsung, Home Depot, Floor and Decor, as well as a host 
to other vendors. Now in 2024, there's a ton of accounts to report to business credit, but I just want to give you five basic ones that anyone can sign up to, and it's a guaranteed approval. Now, so you could sign up for all of these today and get the process started for your business credit to get established. The first one I always recommend is NAV. NAV is just a subscription that gets reported to your business credit report. Then you have Crown Office Supply. So Crown Office Supplies, again, it's another one of these net 30s. Now, again, with the net 30s, do they overcharge a little bit on some of the products? Absolutely. Now, I would always say this is just a means to an end. So what you can do, you can apply for the net 30, order a couple items, wait till it reports, and then you don't have to use it again. The next one I like is Office Garner. Office Garner also has a net 30 account. So this is a net 30 trade line that is going to report on your business credit. Then you have the Business T-Shirt Club, which is now called Branded Apparel Club. Again, they will report to the business credit reporting agencies, uh, CEO Creative, so if you add these five accounts to your business credit, you probably want to wait anywhere from, let's say, 45 to 60 days because you have to wait to these report. If you sign up today and then go apply to like second tier types of accounts, you're going to get denied because they're not reporting yet. You have to wait until that reporting cycle actually hits and then you can go back, get second tier types of business credit accounts. Now, in terms of the Dell business line of credit, again, this is not a starter vendor account. You do need some established trade lines on your Experian report. Now, you can always go to NAV, get your Experian and Telescore, but better yet, Experian.com is going to give it to you in real time, whereas NAV may only update it once a month or once every 45 to 60 days. So if you want your real-time accurate business credit score, you can go directly to Experian.com. Now, again, it does cost a little bit more to get your real-time reports, but it's going to give you accurate information before you decide to apply to different vendors. Now, in terms of some of the different products that you can get through Dell, things like desktop, laptop computers, monitors, they have server racks, uh, storage uh, components and things like that. And I've actually used Dell products in the past. And honestly, I, you know, I like Dell much better than HP. I think they're a little bit more reliable. Uh, that's just my opinion. But again, you know, there's a host of different items that you can get off of here using your Dell business line of credit. So again, you can leverage the Dell business line of credit, get technology. So if you're going to create content or even just to run your business, right, you're going to need a computer, uh, different types of equipment. Um, some people could even purchase items off of here and resell them. So there's a lot that you can do with the Dell line of credit is going to give you access. They have different uh, gaming PCs as well. They have a lot of electronics, webcams, networking, laptops, printers, scanners, scanners, uh, different PC components and so forth. So you could definitely check that out. I think overall, this is a great vendor to have just in your back pocket. Even if you don't plan on using it, it can still help you with building business credit and moving up to the next level in terms of the different tiers that you can get business credit under. And the best part of it, there's no hard personal credit check and it will report to your business credit profile. Anyways, that's all for today's video. Let me know your comments and questions down below. And until next time, take it easy and we'll talk to you soon. Peace.